Hi, I'm Marion Landry, Technical Marketing Manager at Autodesk. In this Tips and Tricks, I want to show you how you can load and use the add-in that's called Auto Group, which will help you optimize and work with large scene and showcase. Okay, so here's a great example of a Revit uh, project that I've just finished importing. I haven't done anything else than importing my FBX. Now, the first suggestion that I make when you are using a large scene coming from Revit is to export multiple FBX. Uh, it'll be easier to manage, it'll be easier to hide content. For example, you can have an FBX for the furniture, one from the exterior wall, one for the windows, as many FBX as you want, and it will help you manage contents. But even if I've done this here, you can see that while I'm trying to orbit my scene around, it's pretty clunky, it's not really smooth, I'm not getting a high frame rate per second, and uh, that's gonna slow me down if I start to create alternative, change material of that scene. Uh, you see when I'm zooming in, it's, it's not smooth and I'm having a hard time to navigate around this building. I'm getting 1.8 frame per second and that's really not acceptable. So I'm going to try to optimize this scene at its best that I can uh, in the context that I have here. Now to help understand what your scene is composed of and to understand what your computer have to deal with, I suggest that you load the scene statistics. Let's have a look at what we have here. We have 23,000 um, geometry, which are objects. So that's a lot of object to refresh and reapply material and to deal with for your computer. So that's the thing that we will focus on. We will try to combine some of these objects so we reduce the number of geometry and therefore we can navigate easier in our scene. But first, let me load the organizer and have a look at this uh, FBX. So do you see the amount of object that I have in here? The list is very long and that is what your computer has to deal with. Now there is one tool that by default is hidden to showcase that will help you deal with large scenes. It is currently an unsupported sample add-in and you'll need to be patient with it and run your own trials. So to load this add-in, go to File, Add-in Manager. This will open the Add-in Manager window where you can click on the Add button and browse to find the Auto Group Custom PY plugin. So let's open that. And this will be loaded in your Add-in Manager. Now, unfortunately, it's not loaded automatically and you'll have to restart Showcase in order to have it take effect. So let's just do that. We're going to go File, Exit, and Restart Showcase. And I'm going to Restart Showcase, and I'll be able to reload the same scene from the task bar. Now you can see it's the exact same scene, and nothing has changed so far. If I try to orbit, I still get a really uh, slow frame rate per second. So let's go to the View menu, and you'll notice that I have two new options that were added, but the add-in Auto Group Custom that we just loaded. So before I can uh, use the add-in, I need to select which object need to be affected by it. In this case, I'm going to select everything in my scene and I'm going to select the second option, which is group and combine by category, family, type and material. Now it's going to look like it's not doing anything. It is in fact doing something. And what it's doing is it combining these objects into Revit categories, Revit family, and Revit material. So everything that shares the same material gets combined together uh, and all of that. Now, before you do anything, I highly suggest that you save your scene as with something uh, in a title that has combine. So now you know that this new scene is the combined scene. Now have a look at this new navigation. I am getting a very high frame rate per second, 15. I can navigate in my scene really smoothly. I can zoom in, zoom out. I'll be able to apply material and I can use my scene really smoothly. Now to better understand what happened, let's open the scene statistic. Now if I have a look at this, if you remember properly, uh, the geometry was 23,000 objects and we are now down to 631 objects, way less than what we have before. If we open the organizer, you'll notice that the objects are now combined. Now you have some gray shade objects and that just means that they're hidden. So let's unhide them for now. 
and you'll be able to observe what's happening in there. So if I press on the plus button, I'll be able to expand what's in my FBX and you'll see that the list of objects is way smaller than what it used to be. Now keep in mind that you always have option to separate some of these combined objects. For example, if you want to animate these wind turbines that are on the roof, you'll need to separate them. So select the object, separate it. So now you see that I have three separate turbines uh, on my rooftop that I can now animate individually. Now if I want to combine them again because I changed my mind, I can also do so. So you can always undo the process of combination by separating your object or combine more objects if you want to create a smaller size scene or least object in your scene. So I've loaded an image here that shows a scene statistic of, of the same scene before I run the combine add in tool. So you see before I had 23,000 geometry, which is the number of object and after combine option, I have 631 geometry, which is the number of objects. Now also notice that the amount of group have also diminished quite substantially from 2000 to 11 groups, because if you remember properly, the option that we have chosen was group and combine. So having least amount of group will help you manage your content in a more efficient way. Now keep in mind that one of the drawbacks of running this tool is that you will lose the live link to the Revit scene and you will no longer be able to reload the FBX, which is a live link with Revit after you run the combined tools. You also have to keep in mind that the organizer might get affected by the combine object. If you are used to browse through your uh, organizer by using the uh, Revit family, um, because we have combined certain object, let's say um, an object as part of the roof, share the same material as an object as part of the door. Now you can see that searching through uh, your model by Revit family will be affected. It might not be as accurate as it used to be because now the certain object have been combined, uh, not taking consideration of the family, but mainly taking consideration of the same material. But I'm sure other than that, you'll find great usage for that tool and uh, you'll be happy to know that it exists.